Hello and welcome to Currency Call with me Manisha Gupta. Well, the Indian rupees trading week on back of sluggish domestic market, strong dollar and high oil prices. Right now, rupee holding around 45.14, so nearly three tenths of a percent loss on that one. The Chinese trade data played on investor sentiment in Asia. Beijing has posted its largest trade deficit in seven years. The Korean won, Taiwanese dollar both extended their gains today. In Europe, though, the euro fell to a one-week low against the dollar after Moody's cut Spain's credit rate. The ratings agency has also warned of further cuts and the euro currently mm -hmm. holding around 1.3850, half a percent of a loss onto that one. The Swiss franc also gained against the euro but is trading softer against the dollar. All the negative data seems to be helping the dollar index today that has marked substantial gains against the basket of six currencies trading right now around 76.97, so just short of that 77 mark. Charting currencies with us today's expert Abhishek Goenka, the CEO of India Forex Advisors and R. Sita Raman, who is CEO Doha Bank. Ms. Sita Raman, let me come to you first and let's talk about the Middle East unrest impact on commodities, currencies, the financial market assets. How is the whole scenario looking to you at this point in time? Last two months have been uh, a realignment in terms of politics. You have seen Gulf economies are going through social reforms. North Africa, Egypt or Tunisia, again now uh, Libya is going through huge, huge uh, political uh, realignment. This is going to have direct impact on the emerging markets. For example, India with its uh, prudent policy framework as su kind of sustainable economic growth not less than 8 to 9 percent. For the last 15 years we have been sustaining our credibility as a, a emerging markets. Now, the foot price inflation is a major threat. We are seeing that's growing in double digits. Overall inflation is 8 to 9 percent and oil price is quoting over $100. Brent crude over uh, $115. Let me get you Abhishek into the conversation and Middle East is something markets really around the globe are watching. Do you see any impact of that coming into the Indian markets or the Indian rupee for that matter? See uh, Manisha personally uh, last 10-15 days uh, we have not seen much of impact coming to dollar rupee. You know, we have seen uh, rupee more in a range of uh, 45, 45, 10, very, very lousy market I would say. But definitely if uh, Middle East tensions escalate, uh, in the morning also we are hearing some news, mm -hmm. Libya tensions are escalating. And oil if uh, most likely if it's likely to hold above 104, 105, maybe 110, 120 like we had seen in 2008 levels, then definitely there's going to be a problem in India because deficit is a concern that we have been repeatedly talking about again and again. And if 110, 115 dollars what we see in oil mm -hmm. definitely all the good factors which is actually prevalent in the Indian economy will be swayed away by the deficit concerns due to the oil prices I guess. So Middle East tensions definitely is going to worsen the outlook in India and make a weaker rupee. Mm -hmm. Sita Raman, this one is for you really. In a scenario like this where we have Europe sovereign debt concerns, Middle East unrest, where would you see an average investor put money really? Is it currencies, commodities, what financial markets would you choose upon? The growth should be on the, the bond market. India, as, uh, in a, from an international perspective, has not exploited the, or leveraged on this meritocracy. Today India is a force uh, as an emerging markets sustainable journey we have had. Uh, we have go gone through the crisis. Our financial stability is well proven. Our financial institutions are resilient. Definitely in terms of uh, sectoral distributions, definitely in terms of equity, I will look at uh, finance or telecom. When it comes to bond market, it's a greater option uh, to invest in infrastructure bonds with the growth prospects which we are envisaging. Seven to eight percent of the GDP is going to be towards infrastructure creations. That's an opportunity. The payback is really there. The prices are uh, cheaper. Yield is high. Uh, definitely, that's the destinations we have to look at it. Again, oil futures, you can look at it and invest it. And uh, gold is also likely to go up. Well, there have been a lot of gainers really, Abhishek. Gold and crude prices ran up. In currencies, you saw Swiss franc make a record high. So in a condition like this, where should you be putting your money so that it gives you good returns? See, uh, looking at the basic trend that we have seen the last uh, few months, when we have seen that uh, only one thing which is consistently going up is the commodities. Mm. When talking about industrial metals and precious metals and energy. Mm. Uh, the major reason being is simply cheap money going towards commodities. Debt 
sovereign debt would not be the best option across the globe because we have seen sovereign debt crisis across and people are not very confident emerging markets uh, as my friend said is a great option to invest but uh, i personally feel that you know uh, the recent numbers coming out of china where we saw that they had a trade deficit of 7.3 billion dollars and uh, you know uh, that kind of a concerning situation is developing in emerging markets so money is actually going out you know 2 billion dollars in india we have seen going out uh, this uh, this particular year so i guess emerging markets may not be a very good option in fact the markets in the us uh, which has been outperforming the other markets would be a better option in the medium term because we are going to see very good growth numbers coming out of the us maybe in the second half of the year when actually these people have already raised interest rates maybe in first half of 2012 or something so i would actually put my money on precious metals energy commodity or any sort you know food grains and obviously the us markets that is what would be my bet in the current scenario All right. One final question before we let you go, Abhishek. The EU summit is happening tomorrow, and markets have seen the Europe decline quite a bit ahead of that. What's your view going forward when it comes to Euro or dollar index? See, Euro. The major play which is happening in Euro at this point of time is that the expectations of raising interest rates. Now, uh, as of now, they are having two problems. One is the growth. Second way, the second thing is the inflation. At this point of time, the priority is more on the inflation. You know, uh, that's the principal priority because it's around 2.4 percent, where it should be something around 2 percent. Mm -hmm. So, as their policy, they would definitely fight inflation, and that is the expectations which is building up in the market. But at the same time, uh, recently we have seen uh, some downgrades happening in the uh, euro eurozone uh, countries, and also we have seen that the bond auctions. which has recently taken place has not been at the same yield which it was taken earlier you know they have increased by around 1% hmm. uh, from 4% to around 5% currently uh, so you know that is a, a second concern which is developing so i would do still not be a very big seller of euro but on a medium term horizon i feel that when us dollar which is at this point time a lagger in increasing interest rates as compared to euro and gbp when they come into action maybe you know when the bond yield start pricing in maybe after the second part of this particular year that is a time when us growth and expectations of interest rate in us will take more importance than the europe and the uh, i would say the uk interest rate expectations that is the time we are going to see a rise in the dollar index in a shorter term definitely euro and gbp both these currencies are bought Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you know 40 41 42 levels sure. but on the medium term maybe on a 4 to 6 months horizon i probably would favor a us dollar and dollar index maybe you know going after 75 76 levels to in the current levels mm -hmm. maybe you know might hit towards an 80 81 mm -hmm. in the medium term horizon all right so near term choppy but going forward dollar is the place where you put your money on thank you so much abhishek and mr sita raman for joining us today on that debate on where the currency markets could really be headed but with that completely out of time on currency call thank you for watching business day is coming up next